Hey, good evening, everyone. It's wonderful to be here. My name is Dan Pingaro. I'm the Executive Director at Sailors for the Sea. Thank you, Gus, for that fabulous introduction. Hugh, Juliana, I can't see with all the lights up here. They are, thank you. And uh, Jeremy, great introduction there. Really appreciate it. You guys used all my speaking points, so I really don't know what I'm going to say now. I'm just out the door. Okay. Um, really, you heard our mission, which is to educate and empower the sailing community to protect and restore the oceans. And we really do that in a number of different ways, which I'll get to in a moment. Our real focus, though, is to galvanize the sailing community around ocean conservation. Many of you have heard about Surfrider. It's kind of the concept we're looking at. To really, uh, this is the last untapped constituency of uh, recreational user group in the ocean community to come to the table and have an impact on the environment from uh, everything from non-point source pollution, which is a, a fairly focused and localized uh, issue, to uh, climate change. And we can really be talking about this with everybody, and it's a great uh, organization and a vehicle for us to get the message out, to link knowledge to action for people. People really want to know how they can engage once they learn about what some of the issues may be. And it doesn't matter where you are, the ocean is the lungs of the entire planet. So um, with that in mind, David Rockefeller Jr. was our founder. And, and years ago, he was a, a three-time America's Cup campaigner. He crewed for three different campaigns in the late 60s and early 70s. He has a long history, as I'm sure most of you are aware, here in New York City and of course in Newport where he did all of his America's Cup campaigning. And when he heard about the America's Cup or the Atlantic Cup, he was so thrilled about this and we really wanted to get behind it. It was fabulous when 11th Hour came and spoke to us about it. And uh, they, uh, I'll talk about that in a moment, have become a very close partner of ours. Um, so we're very excited about the opportunity that uh, the Atlantic Cup presents for us, for the oceans, and for everybody in this room. Uh, Myself and Chris Mancini, who's sitting over here as our program manager, really do a lot of the implementing of our programs. And we have, a, we have a nice host of programs, and I won't go into every single one at the moment, but I will tell you that we have one that focuses on the marine industry called Certified Sea Friendly. And if you, have the, if you know what the LEADS program is like for the U.S. Green Building Council, this is something that we are starting to engage the marine industry on, on the way that uh, uh, from design to end of life use, for power boats and sailboats, recreational vessels. We're also engaged in a program called Rainy Day Kits, which is educationally based. We're working with Scripps, New England Aquarium, and Huey, and others to develop educational lesson plans for junior sailors. I mean, what do you do when there's no wind on some days? And some days it's rainy. Um, as a quick aside, we're looking for a better name for that. It sounds a little too down. So if anyone out there is, you know, you're into marketing, so come on, help me out with some of the language here. You know, we, Rainy Day Kits, we want to make it a little more engaging. Maybe we can talk. Um, and of course, excellent. That's great. I can have another day in New York. I love that. Thanks, Gus. OK, you, I'm coming back. Um, one of the things that uh, we're most proud of and has been a core component of Sailors for the Sea is our Clean Regatta program. And it's all about uh, lessening the footprint of the, environmental, uh, of the sailing community on the environment. And not just the racers, but also the entire organizational structure supporting a regatta and what's happening right there in the marina. So there's a lot of different components that go on in a clean regatta, and I will not take all the time to go through it, but I can assure you that if you pick up one of these brochures right here, and there's enough for everybody, there are four pages in here that detail all the aspects of a clean regatta. And the Atlantic Cup is going towards the uh, gold level, and it is uh, really unprecedented. Uh, there's only one other, I believe. Is that correct, Chris? It's the two others. The New York Yacht Club is uh, doing the gold level. And who's the other? I'm forgetting. Um, thank you very much. How could I have forgotten? And a uh, little nervous in front of the podium. But uh, with the help of our friends at 11th Hour, who have really um, stepped up at Nantucket Race Week last year, who really kicked this off. In a, in a big way back in St. Martin a couple years ago, really got people focused on our clean regatta program. We've seen it grow over the years from 25,000 people participating just two years ago to we have now 50,000 people this summer alone participated. And we're really looking to transition those participants into uh, members and people who will take that knowledge and learn about the ocean and act in a way they see fit that's beneficial for their local waters. I think there's a real big opportunity with this to get the message out there. And I'm really excited about the opportunity to work with, with you, Gus, here, and of course, with our partners at 11th Hour. None of this would be happening. So thank you so much to Wendy and Jeremy. And Rob, I know you're out there somewhere, so thank you so much. 
There you are, haircut, I couldn't. So any of you who happen to be in Newport, Rhode Island in the coming summer, and this winter in the coming summer, we are located in Siemens Church. Please feel free to stop by. We're on the second floor. We're always welcoming to guests. Learn more, and uh, my phone number and my uh, business cards are up here, and I'd love to chat with you more about this without taking any more of your time. Thank you again for uh, having us here. We're, it's an honor to uh, be a part of the Atlantic Cup kickoff as a clean regatta, and to our um, fabulous supporters at 11th Hour and to partner with Thomson Reuters. Thank you.